For 25 years, the Miracle Ear Foundation has supported communities across the country, helping underserved children and more recently, adults with their hearing health care needs. Well, it's estimated 17% of all Americans have hearing loss, and while hearing aids can get expensive, one foundation is doing its part to help, experience, help people experience the joy of sound. Kale Hall received about $6,400 in hearing assistance today, free of charge, all thanks to the Miracle Ear Foundation. Amanda couldn't afford two hearing aids, and her insurance wouldn't cover it. That's when the hearing specialists at Miracle Ear in Bend stepped in to help. Today, Amanda's life was changed as she received a free pair of hearing aids and free lifetime care. But today, Sarah is about to be part of a miracle of sorts, thanks to the Miracle Ear Foundation. She's about to become one of the 4,000 people in the United States to receive state-of-the-art hearing aids. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. It sound pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sarah can hear, and tears of joy stream down. The Miracle Ear Foundation provides free hearing aids to those who can't afford them. Today, Corey and Victoria are getting theirs. Corey had resigned himself to a lifetime of muffled mumble. Now that's all about to change. Corey and Victoria about to truly hear each other for the first time. Do something about it. <laughs> it's opening up a new world of communication for this family, a clearer connection between dad and daughter. It's severe to profound in both ears, yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot of, she's got a lot of hearing loss. But now her hearing will be almost normal. Abrams says being able to hear more fully will help her in her work as a case manager for disabled people trying to live independently. But her grandkids better beware. Don't try to get over on me now. <laughs> in Hayward, Rob Roth, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Miracle Ear is the most recognizable hearing aid retailer in the country whose health care provider's dedication extends to those with a critical hearing health need regardless of their individual's ability to pay. Miracle Ear hearing health care providers are invested in caring for their community and individuals who have exhausted all resources to provide for their own hearing health. Here at the Miracle Ear on Peden Road in Smithfield, you can hear jets flying over. You can hear traffic going by, leaves rustling in the wind. Some of us take those things for granted, not Amber Ricker. Ricker has been without a set of hearing aids for almost five years due to financial struggles. A new program from the Miracle Ear Foundation allows adults who have been fitted for hearing aids as children to be fitted as adults. And as their first recipient, Ricker gains the gift of sound this holiday season. How's that? Can you hear me? Yeah, I could hear <laughs> His smile was contagious. Abraham Legrand walked into this room with only memories of partial hearing and left a totally different person. I feel, I feel happy. I, I'm crying inside, but I'm trying not to let it out. When we put those hearing aids in his ear just to watch the lights all come on, it's it's amazing. It really is. Well, two days before Christmas, a local man got a priceless gift that will change his life forever. We were there for the special event as David Auer received a gift that was music to his ears. David has been living in a muted world, mainly communicating through sign language. After a couple adjustments, David finally heard our voices. Uh, uh, uh. But it wasn't until I played some classic rock the room grew silent, and we stood by watching David truly enjoy what some of us may take for granted. A husband who has been deaf almost since he was a child and his wife, who lost most of her hearing about a year ago, were finally able to hear their three-year-old boy like everyone else was. Three-year-old Noah is active and can get loud like most kids, but his mom Jessica and dad Andrew can't fully see him because they're legally blind, and they can't hear him well either. We were on Merritt Island today when they were fitted for hearing aids at no cost, thanks to the Miracle Ear Foundation. The Miracle Ear Foundation is a nonprofit organization. With the help of our generous donors, we continue to serve more children and adults with hearing aids, as well as support educational community programs on hearing preservation and conservation. You may be wondering just how old or young is your hearing? Well, we are going to find out today. We have Scott Lau, a local hearing care professional with Miracle Ear, joining us. How do you know when you've gotten to that point where, you know, this could cause some problems? 
Well, you know, anything that is for prolonged use of over 85 decibels is too loud. And some of the most simple things can actually cause irreversible hearing damage. So Ann Plotnick is here from Miracle Ear with some advice for parents. I asked you, what is the most important thing that you want parents to know? And you said... I said, make sure that your child's hearing is checked. The idea of wearing a hearing aid can either be intimidating given the stigma, or can also be a little intimidating given um, that it may be considered a higher cost. Nice and so cheap. the Miracle Ear Foundation is really here also to help um, in that way. And the one thing they should know is that some people don't go forward with it because they think maybe I can't uh, afford it. Mm -hmm. Well, at Miracle Ear, we have what we call the Miracle Ear Foundation. Okay. The Miracle Ear Foundation was formed in 1990. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've fit over 6,500 people with hearing instruments at no cost to them. Miracle Ear and the Miracle Ear Foundation serve the community with time, energy, kindness, and compassion. Miracle Ear Foundation, enhancing lives with the gift of sound in communities nationwide. To learn more, visit miracle-earfoundation.org.